this is a PowerPoint on Death Knight, Hearthstone's newest class. The Death Knight class is one of the first, or is the first class actually, to have a rune system, a deck building restriction that is built into the class itself. Of course, you have Blood, Frost, and Unholy, and I think the deck building restriction is a bad system. It really holds back the amount of cards that Death Knight gets. Really, really negatively affects Wild Death Knight because you're never going to hit critical mass. Critical mass is when you finally have enough cards to have a wild competent deck, and eventually you'll get more and more. Rogue hit it a while back, and now Rogue has four decks that run 80% of the same cards. Hunter finally hit it with Huron Hunter, and Death Knight will never hit it because it has so many different permeations of all these runes being added to it that unless we get some absurdly broken cards, you're never going to hit critical mass. That it, I just think that that is a failure of a design, and it really holds back what cards can be printed for standard especially when you get to blood blood has not had any new cards really printed since it's come out there's no way to play triple blood because alexander's also rotated alexander's being the win condition of triple blood triple blood was quite good in wild and standard because it was a very powerful control deck you d had inevitability with alexander's but as time went on it got less and less support and of course like i said alexander's rotated and in wild it's just so unplayable because control decks don't actually work in the past, it was fine because you just play enough against enough aggro, but a lot of aggro decks have gotten way, way, way better since the time of, you know, March of the Lich King that is just actually pointless to play Blood in any way. Frost is all about burn damage, and sometimes you would have, like, undead synergies with it. Uh, you would use things like Frost from Fury, which would lock down your opponent, deal good damage, summon a 5-5, which is pretty good. Frigidara would be able to clear the board, get push damage, and be a 5-6. But then Frigidar was nerfed and an, a plethora of other uh, Frost cards were nerfed that really struck the deck down from being playable in Standard. It was always bad and wild. There's never any reason to play it because you could just play literally anything else. Uh, so it hasn't really taken off in Wild. But I think Frost was really interesting. A lot of people liked it. But it's the same thing as, you know, Blood. It hasn't received any real support at all. And it kind of just suffers from that, like, immensely. Then you have Unholy. Uh, again, like the other ones, haven't, hasn't received any real support since it first came out, but Unholy is easily the best of the three. Even Death Knight was quite strong when it first came out, but like I said, it didn't receive any real support, so it's fallen off significantly. It's still the best Death Knight deck you can play in Wild, but it's really unfortunate to see. I love even Death Knight personally. The whole idea is that you have all your one mana hero power ghouls being summoned to empower your Grave Strength and Marogar. You can use Singalong Buddy and Garrison Commander to build a gigantic board of you know, charge minions to fight for board very efficiently and to get as many corpses as possible. It's really fun. I like it a lot. I think you should play it if you've never played it. I have a bunch of videos on it. Then you have Plagues. I think Plagues are a terrible, terrible design flaw that Blizzard has made. The whole idea of Plagues is that you shuffle them in your opponent's deck and then you play Helia and they never go away. That was fine, I guess, when Steam Cleaner existed in Standard, but after Steam Cleaner rotates, it's a very terrible design. So it got indirectly nerfed with the Highlander changes, which is, you know, oh, would have been okay. But they also just decided to add bombs back to standard, which fuck me, I guess, right? Fuck everyone that wants to play bombs because the whole idea of bombs was a kind of good deck, but it was really good at shutting down Reno decks. Now there's no reason to play Bomb Warrior whatsoever at all because what, what are you doing? You're not shutting down Reno decks, so there's no reason to play it. I think Helia needs some kind of rework, and I also think the Reno cards need to be reworked to make it so Shuffle cards do shut them off. But I don't think Helia should be permanent. That being said, uh, these are also some of the first cards to have their secondary rune removed. They both had, uh, Tomb Trader and Down the Ship both had a Frost Room that was removed because it just made the cards completely fucking unplayable. Then you have Rainbow. Rainbow is also one of the biggest problems with the Death Knight is that Blizzard keeps trying to push this identity of Rainbow Death Knight. And it was pretty much unplayable for two of the last four expansions. It was kind of okay in Badlands, if I remember correctly, in Standard, and now it's okay in Standard as well. I think that Rainbow just really limits the design space. And then you get these, these non-expansions where Death Knight effectively gets no cards because unless Rainbow Death Knight is good enough... Printing rainbow cards is completely useless for every other archetype in the class. I think that having actual hard restrictions to your deck building is a terrible, terrible design design idea, and rainbow kind of proves that. Plus, you have this shitty 10 mana spell that only that can't be generated at all. So, I mean, like, fuck, right? In conclusion, I think that Death Knight is cool, but I just don't see any reason why Blizzard had to put all these restrictions on the class and to do things like Helio, which are terribly designed and limit so many things that they had to get nerfed to the point of being un unusable. 
Uh, I, I wish that Blizzard would do something to fix Death Knight, but I doubt we'll see it. And Death Knight will never be good in Wild unless we can get some truly overpowered cards to make up for the fact that you are not getting cards every one. You're getting cards once a year per per archetype. That being said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, hi,